गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल वन मोर इक्वेशन इंटीग्रेटेड रेट इक्वेशन ऑफ ए फर्स्ट ऑर्डर गैस फेस रिएक्शन दिस इज आल्सो वन ऑफ द डेरिवेशन फर्स्ट ऑर्डर रिएक्शन दैट मस्ट बी इन गैस फेस कंसीडर ए रिएक्शन इन ए गैस फेस ए गैस दैट इज गिविंग प्रोडक्ट बी गैस प्लस सी गैस लेट पी आई बी इनिशियल कॉन्सेंट्रेशन पी आई बी इनिशियल कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ रिएक्टेंट ए एंड पी टी बी टोटल प्रेशर टोटल प्रेशर ऑफ द रिएक्शन ऑफ द रिएक्शन where p a p b and p c are partial pressures partial pressures now a reaction a giving b plus c which is in gas phase at time t equal to 0 its concentration initial concentration is pi there is no product form after time t after time t some of the concentration is used up i will take this as x means total initial concentration is pi after time t some concentration is used up called as x used up is nothing but minus x and its concentration is nothing but one mole one mole is there x and x concentration now total pressure of the reaction pt total pressure of the reaction pt is equal to P A plus P B plus P C. What is the value of P A? It is said to be P I minus X after time T plus P B is X plus P C is also X. Therefore, on simplification, getting minus X and plus X cancel. P I plus X. P T is equals to P I plus X. Now, what is the value of Ex, you have to find out Pt is equal to Pi plus x, or Ex is equals to Pt minus Pi. Ex is equals to Pt minus Pi. Or you have to take another relation that is Pa is equals to value is Pi plus x. Substitute the value of x. That means Pi. Plus P T minus P I P A value is P I minus X on the derivation of the table. After that, after time T na use made there P A is equals to P I minus X. Therefore P A is equals to P I minus P T. X value is P T minus P I. P T minus P I. That means this is minus P I minus into minus plus plus P I plus P I. That is two P I minus P T. P I minus P T. Value of P A. You have to use in this case that first. Order rate equation K is equals to 2.303 divided by T log R naught divided by R. What is the value of R naught in this case? R naught is nothing but P R. R is nothing but P A. Okay, substitute these two. 
concentration is taken as half substitute these two values in this equation k is equals to r not as it is minus instead of r we have to take its a half concentration r not divided by 2 and t that is taken as t half on simplification Complete one R not is there, half R not is there, and it becomes R not divided by two. Remaining is T half. K is equals to R not divided by two T half. Or we want half life. T half is equals to R not divided by two K. 
So this is half life period for zero order reaction. How half life period is related to initial concentration in case of zero order reaction? Half life period is directly proportional to initial concentration of the reactant in case of zero order reaction. Therefore, as concentration goes on increases, half life of that reaction also increases where 2k is said to be a constant. This is one half life period derivation. Come to know second half life that is for first order reaction. Half life for half life for first order reaction. Half life for first order reaction. Rate constant for first order reaction is K is equals to 2.303 divided by T. Log R naught divided by R. Okay. So for this you have to take again according to definition T is equals to T half kind R is equal to R is equal to R naught divided by 2. Substitute these two in this equation. K is equals to 2.303 divided by T half into log R naught divided by instead of R you have to take R naught divided by 2. Okay. R naught or not cancel the denominator to marrow original equity. That means 2.303 divided by k I will take this is t half into log 2 log 2 value is log 2 value is 0 0.3010 therefore this is 2.303 divided by k into 0 0.3010 hence the final answer for this is 0 0.693 divided by k. T half is equal to T half is equal to 0 0.693 divided by k. Now, how half life of first order reaction is related to initial concentration? There is no initial concentration term. Hence, you can say that Half life of first order reaction is independent of its initial concentration. There is one important question. Derive or reduce. Half life period for first order reaction is independent of initial concentration. Okay. By using this, we have to solve some of the problems. Just I will give one problem for solving half life for first order reaction. Tera, the problem is a first order reaction, a first order reaction, rate constant, rate constant, is 5.5 into 10 raised to minus 14 5.5 into 10 raised to minus 14 per second where the unit is per second it is said to be first order reaction find half life of the reaction find half life of the reaction. This is one problem for solving half life. Okay, we will continue in the next class.